Hello everybody and welcome back to Dan Tiles Gaming and today we're going to be having a look at Avalanche Studios Generation Zero Beta. So thank you to uh, Avalanche Studios for sending me on over the key code for their beta uh, quite quickly and um, you know thanks for giving me the opportunity to review this and test it and give you some feedback of which I've already done in some parts but what is Generation Zero? Well it's a survival game in an open world and it is very contrasty. So what I mean is you feature a full day and night cycle with unpredictable weather, the AI behavior is um, very unpredictable also, you kind of have to have a bit of a game of cat and mouse, run, hide, um, outsmart them, get in buildings, shoot them from above, <laughs> incognito mode is brilliant because you can evade the enemy and obviously complete missions and the storyline. So it's kind of set um, in an apocalyptic world of machines um, with a sort of a 1980 sort of soundtrack to it. Um, it is multiplayer um, so you can play up to four players so you and three of your friends or you can go uh, seamlessly on your own and try and outsmart the enemy which is a little bit more difficult but it is intensive you've got to to basically be strategic in how you uh, collaborate and combine your skills on how you um, you know run through the game so you can have different classes like support and so on and so forth and um, the game is actually running on the award-winning apex engine so it's a very very good engine like I said this is its beta form so things may change before 2019 which is when it's going to be released and you do come across four machines so you've got the tick the seeker the runner and the tank and obviously as the um, name suggests the runners they do run, um, so you've got to be quite quick. Tank is very tanky, and the seekers do seek you out in the ticks. I haven't come across any as of yet, but not to say that I won't in the new, uh, the near too distant future, should I say. So what I'm going to do is cut it here, jump on over into the game, and I'm going to show you guys what us beta testers are seeing on this side. So I've loaded up into uh, the game now, and just in the main menu, and just want to show you the number down here, I'm running around 160, 170 FPS. And that is only in the main menu, obviously, um, as you can see running at 1080p on a full screen and graphics. Everything's pretty much at ultra, apart from the fog quality, I've got that high. Everything here is off, and obviously I have got anti-aliasing off because you can only choose two settings, FXAA or FXAA plus TAA, and it is a low performance impact on the game. Um, I've jumped up to around 200 FPS, so yeah, I'm running everything on high, I'm just going to go and jump into where I started off and I am going to close these doors otherwise we'll get shot because I want to show you a few things in here first of all um, so you can obviously pick up collectibles and search containers obviously uh, it's always quite nice health packs and search bags and so on and so forth um, see if there's anything decent in here or oh, I might take that so obviously controls W S D and A obviously to move around right mouse button to zoom in, obviously left mouse button to shoot uh, tap control once and you go into your sort of crouch mode and press Z and you will go into the incognito mode um, which is quite cool, I quite like that because you can ev evade enemies that way um, I'm going to jump down and open up a door and hide that's what I'm going to do come on there you go, I wasn't looking at it properly so yeah, it is, it's intense, and you've got to be sort of smart about things because these AIs are pretty intelligent, as you can see they will seek you out, and um, obviously search bags and bits and pieces, so whilst I'm in here and they're out there, obviously this is the map of the beta testers that we have been given, which is the first island that you set foot on over here, I'm just currently over here at the moment. Obviously, your infantry is uh, items of items that you've picked up along the way. Obviously, hairpins are block picking, grenades, which I'm going to drag and drop into one of my macros, um, so you can use them. Obviously, and then obviously primary and second primary weapons, so one and two, three, and then obviously four is these that you've set. And I have got low enough health, so what I'm going to do is just basically go to a health pack. My, my mac, via my macro, press the left mouse button and heal myself, which is what I'm going to 
basically need to survive this. Obviously with the survival and the open world part of the game you do need to sort of go places, you do need to hide um, and you basically need to try and outsmart the enemy. Now if this opens I did not get him the first time, or the f second time, but it got him the third time. So as you can see, this is on ultra high, and it's really good quality. Um, obviously, the day and night does shift. Obviously, as I said in the prelude, um, that obviously the weather will change as well, uh, depending on where you are running the game. Right, I'm gonna shut those up because they will come up here. Get myself out a grenade. Let's see if this works. Didn't get any of them. I'm gonna run back in here and see. There you go. Get down. Might need to heal again. So you do need quite a few of these health packs, and you will find them sort of um, around the map. There you go. You can interact with most most of everything anyway. Um, so for instance like you can open up car doors, uh, there's normally backpacks in them. Um, obviously trailer, back trailer doors you can pick up. And just look at the... Load, come on. There you go. See, this is that. I think I've got them all. Nope, haven't got them all. You're just gonna stand there. <laughs> he wanted to go down. That that was pretty smooth. Um, no jerking. It was all quite just fluid, which is what I really like. Considering this is the beta. I haven't really found anything wrong with it. Obviously, there's a few issues, like any game that comes out in in the beta ser uh, beta series side of things. Um, there are going to be a few issues. They have obviously only just released this to a handful of people, and uh, we have been playing it and meeting up and discussing it, obviously in the forums, um, which I wouldn't go and suggest uh, sort of searching for, because obviously you're ruin it for yourselves really um, but overall a very very good game experience it is it's smooth especially at ultra high obviously things will change um, like what obviously none of us know yet um, as far as I'm aware and what I've kind of been listening to and speaking to the developers about it looks like this may be October 2019 that this comes out um, price is going to be around about 34 99 39.99 uh, US dollars or great british pounds uh, but either way definitely worth getting especially just for the multiplayer side of things you know you and three of your mates going at it um, if you want to go at it on your own um, seamlessly just single player you can do but yeah it's it's really nice it's really smooth and it's actually nice to see a game come out in beta that isn't really really buggy or really really laggy and the frames are all over the place and it's not been optimized and you just continuously have issues and you can't really test it because there are too many issues whereas this is pretty clean you know look at that you just just turn everything on and off a few times and it works um, picked up a message from Anita and her parents, right you've got to listen to that obviously because that's part of the mission which I'm not going to do and spoil it for you guys out there but look at the attention to detail like I said this is again in its beta form so really really enjoying it and definitely will be buying it when it comes out let me just sort of run around a bit more let me go and see if I can find some more so you can actually fast travel and you can set yourself waypoints so I'm going to travel to the safe safe house over here which is the church give you guys a little bit of a different environment to have a look at and again should hopefully still be the same quite smooth there you go yeah let's see if I can pick up a radio and laws uh, okay he's inside that's gonna be interesting 
he was inside. He's not any longer. So, here you go. Let's open the door. I'm going to run up to the top of the tower here and just show you guys sort of the aerial view. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take all of that. Don't want that. So I'm going to switch to my binoculars actually. Oh. There you go. Smooth. It's not jumpy. There's normally a couple of runners over there. There you go. Pretty clear. Even to the point that you can see the writing on those plaques. And obviously here I'm running around about 118 to 130 FPS. Um, let's see if I can... Can you shoot from this distance? You can. Can, you, can I get them? not a chance <laughs> so you can actually shoot through the windows as well so you can get yourself into a building shoot the windows out if obviously you've got enough ammo and uh, take them out that way which is pretty interesting obviously you do have fall damage as well so if you decide to jump off something then do be aware that you will damage yourself like I said look how smooth that is Oh, uh, yeah, and that's what happens when you um, when you jump outside. So you can just click on a place, you can spawn there, like I have done now, and go back to it. If I run up here quickly, just out the way, hopefully they don't follow. Just go to your inventory. You can click on your ammo, put it onto your obviously character. Can you stack them up? I wonder. Nope. Anything going to work? No. So you can't stack them, unfortunately. That is a bit. That would be a bit annoying. You know, if you, they could do that, that'd be perfect. Where is he? I missed all of those then. But look how the AIs respond. They will run. They will hide. They will get out the way. Or they should do. I'm gonna go and heal myself again. Yeah, intelligent AI, which is a uh, obviously not if he goes and stands by a door and can't shoot me. Obviously not that intelligent. He's gone. Where's he gone? Let's load. I just have visions of him coming up behind me now. Out of ammo. That uh, is really not going to help. Is that all I've got? Okay, run. Do I have any more? Oh no. Ah, there you go. I have some ammo left. Not a great deal. heal up before I decide to jump back out there and uh, take all. Probably going to die. Where is he? So I'm gonna run. Uh, not up there though. You can pick up a radio, which also, like I said previously, lures your um, enemies to you. 
Where is he? There he is. But yeah, so that is um, obviously Generation Zero uh, from Avalanche Studios. Very, very good game and very, very interesting, intense. You've got to be clever with how you do things. Um, obviously, run, hide, just get out the way. I'm going to see if I can maybe evade them in a little bit but anyway if you did like this video then please give me a thumbs up and leave your comments in the section below and uh, do subscribe to the channel there are more gameplays and reviews in the games plays list and I shall hopefully see you all in the next video that I do for now take care and like I said please do subscribe